Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Happy solar return to all of our Taurin natives and anyone who's Taurin centric. So this is for people who have the sun in Taurus, their ascendant or uh, rising sign. They call it in Taurus, your moon in Taurus, your north node in Taurus, or even if you have a stellium in Taurus, which would mean three or more personal planets in Taurus in your natal chart. So again, happy birthday, happy solar return. So this will cover from April 20th, um, starting 2018 up until next year, okay? 2019, it would end and it goes through May 20th. And we know that you're an earth sign, okay? And you're a fixed sign and a feminine sign. So that means that you're loving and nurturing. It doesn't mean men are girly and, and women are extra feminine. It, it doesn't mean that when you talk of the duplicities of masculine and feminine. It's just that the feminine signs are more loving and nurturing. You're ruled by Venus, which is loving, nurturance, protection, you know, your value system, money, the earthly body, okay? Now, when I, I started to do this deck um, for you, the Llewellyn deck, and I did a modified Celtic cross. So usually I cut the deck and I put out the cards. This time they said no, so I shuffled, shuffled. I kept asking, what do you need to know for this solar return? And randomly I started just either pulling a card or cards that fell out. And I have to tell you, every card here is a major arcana. I've never done a reading where this happened, that every card is a major. So I'm speaking directly to Tauren centric people that this year, for your solar return is going to be one of major changes and upheavals in your life. You will be forced to grow in ways maybe you have never been forced to before because the major arcana are the big secrets in life. These are the things that we need to really grow. So maybe if you have been working very hard, this year will be a, a, a harder, um, a easier, a year for you to reap the rewards of all your hard work and the harder you work the more you'll see the results of and for many of you that have kind of been a slacker you know and maybe you didn't do the work or didn't see the results you know you'll need to put in more in order to see the results you need so this is going to be a big year of growth for you and evolution and maturation and I really feel it's because this major event is happening in May when Uranus moves out of Aries and moves into Taurus. And it's gonna affect the whole world, okay? But people that are Taurus-centric really are gonna be triggered. And Uranus is shocking change, rebellion, evolution, revolution, um, freedom, okay? This is forward thinking, progression. So there's gonna be a lot of intensity in your year, Taurus. And depending on how everything else is aspected in your chart, it'll affect each and every one of us differently. However, that being said, there will be these major shifts, especially with Uranus in your sign. Um, and it's going to be there until I think 2027 or 28. Don't quote me. I'll have a video up on that. Now, Chiron also has just moved into Aries from Pisces. All right, so that's going to be a lot of things happening, too. I have that video up and see how it would affect you depending on what Chiron is in your natal chart. So let's begin here. This is a brief overview for the year. And like I said, we have a lot of intensity here. And I'm not saying it's all bad, okay? Well, especially with Uranus, things fluctuate, okay? They go here and there. And there are times in our lives we wish things would stay the same and they change. And when we wish things would change and, and uh, they do, you know, with things that have been stagnant become better. So that's the energy that Uranus does. It just shakens and awakens us. And things that maybe you have not wanted to do are going to happen and you're going to need to face the music. But after it happens, in retrospect, you're going to see that you are happy it did because you never want to go back to the way things were before after these things do happen for you. Now, we're, we're talking gently to start off with, Taurins, is strength. This is number eight. It's a great number for the manifester. And Taurins are very good little manifestors. They know how to bring things into form, all right, into our third dimensional reality. Now, we talk about strength and we talk about courage. 
more courage than you realize you have, more fortitude than you realize you have. But this is not bold aggression. This is very gentle, assertive, flowing energy, much more relaxed energy. And I have to say, you know, here it looks like our traveler on this beautiful white horse, which to me is that beginning, purity, is kind of going with the flow of the water, the tides, and riding to shore, cloaked in this beautiful crimson. We know that there's grounding stability, and Taurus is all about being grounded. They're slow and steady, right? Reliable, resolute. Um, so for all of the Taurus-centric people, we're talking about in this immediate probably three months before your birthday to when your birthday hits, if you're um, April, Taurus, even into early May, it's, it's saying that you've got to assert yourself more. Maybe the time for just sitting back and waiting and being complacent is really not going to help you. There's going to be some momentum that's going to push you forward, and you're going to have to ride this wave. So you may as well go with that flow instead of resisting it, they're saying. And don't give up, even if you feel like you're getting hurt in the situation or you feel like um, you were wronged in the situation. Go with this. Everything is breaking down to break through for all of us right now. I've been talking about that in the last number of videos. And you're going through these to have these breakthroughs. So try and uh, stabilize your fear. You know, those false evidences appearing real. And you want to just ask spirit what good is coming out of this as the waves come in and maybe it's not as pleasant or frightening for you maybe. And you feel anxious and worried, which is very ungrounding for Taurus energy. Okay, don't be undaunted by this. If you even feel like anger, you know, instead of repressing your anger, manage your anger or whatever impulses you're feeling. Um, lash it out in maybe weekend sports, you know, or some sort of exercise or something fun, you know, do yard work, whatever you could expel that energy that's negative out of you because you want to maintain who you are. And especially when a Tauren loses their, their temper or gets angry and upset, it's kind of frightening to the people around them, especially their immediate family. Taurens like to keep that big circle very tight it's not like they have friends but the the big circle in their life is probably their parents and if you're married your children and parents or in-laws immediate tight siblings you know that's your big circle anything out of that is a bit much so if you act out of character this might be frightening and unsettling for them but we all have to go through this to change to grow and just if this is a heads up for you um you might have a little bit of a meltdown or a breakdown because you're upset. But again, they're saying, go with the flow, ask spirit what good is coming out of this for you and let, let them take you to shore with this. You know, spirit is there to guide you. Look at this strong, massive, wild boar here to come alongside with you, to protect you, to lead the way, to fight any obstacles, okay? So that it's clearing the way for you so that you can regain your grounding stability and have this beautiful new beginning. Let's see, and there's, there's the mask of Leo there. And um, Leo is the strength card in the tarot. And we are having the North Node in Leo right now. So this is really going to be a year for you to shine, okay? And then immediately what they're talking about here with temperance. This is also going to talk to some of us about a drug or a drinking problem or someone around us who's got an alcohol or drug addiction, gambling addiction, sex addiction, anything that you do excessively shopaholic workaholic you know you overly care for people you spend 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 way too much time on everybody else and not time on yourself with temperance we're talking about balancing whatever is going on within us and around us you want to be managing everything that's going around you you know things that seem impossible right now you know, maybe you have children and you have to work and you're trying to take them to the doctor and then you have to go um, take the mother-in-law to get her hair cut or whatever it is that's going on. There's so many things that you need to manage. We're saying this is like spirit coming in 
to say it's doable, it's not easy, we're here to help you. We want to moderate your behavior. There's going to be times, Taurus, you're going to have to say no. When someone asks you for that helping hand and do this for me, you're going to have to say no. And I know it's hard for you because you want to help people. But there's times when you have to put yourself first. Actually, you should always put yourself first and being centered, not selfish. But it is about some self-control with whatever behavior is going on within you or outside of you. It's a time of healing. This is a beautiful card of healing and harmony with others, and that's what you seek in your life. Um, it could also be a great time of artistic expression. Maybe you have some ideas for a new job venture or vocational trade or something with your besties that you want to do. Maybe you're in a band or you're writing, you're doing artwork or... Uh, even at school, if you're changing your major or something that's more creative, you know, maybe you're going into more of the liberal arts, you know, or even something you're creating in your home, in your family, that you're being very um, idealistic about. Very different for you. And you're, you're figuring, especially with Taurus, you love beautiful things. Venus is your ruling planet. You love beautiful things around you for whatever you feel is beautiful in your home. Nice things that feel soft and cuddly and comfy, beautiful surroundings. You know, so if you're spending too much, please watch that. Temper yourself with that. Let me just see what else I got here. She kind of, she looks like she's under the water. You know, and Taurus opposite is Scorpio, which is a water sign. Again, with this white energy here we have the horse here a noble creature and then the domestic animal the dog or even if it's a wolf but it looks more like a dog a domestic this is your spirit guide this is someone in the unseen that's here to protect you it could be your higher self whatever it is that you believe in as your belief system and they're going to the well so going to the well is literally saying everything that you want is in this well you need to go to that to manifest in your life but there are times you go to the well a little too much. Like I said, drinking, drugs, sex, spending, working. It's got to be moderated. Maybe you're going to, you know, you feel like you're drowning under all of this stuff that's going on. It could even be your emotions. You're drowning in your emotions. You're overwhelmed. So with this card, especially four and one, that's that five energy. It could go either way. Be very careful with that. And always ask spirit to help you and guide you through this. Because like I said, they're there to help you. It's, it's going to be... It's going to be a challenge. I'm not going to say hard. It's a challenge. But you know what? This is what you need right now to go through. Because in the long run, you're going to realize when you look back, thank God this happened to me. Because I could have been drowning in debt. I could have lost my home. I could have lost my relationship. I could have gone to jail for a DUI. You know, anything that could have gone wrong. You'll reflect back and say, thank God I've changed my life. Because of this card, it's forcing me to grow and realize I need to moderate my behavior. And what's, what's covering this is saying judgment. This is God, spirit, energy calling you to a new life. Will you heed the call? Will you be risen from the emotional dead? Like I said, maybe you're deep in debt, drowning in worry, fear, um, addictions that have a hold of you, a bad relationship. This is the card of saying, it's time for death and rebirth. It's time to be reborn. Let me just see. And remember, with the zero next to any number, it makes it exponentially greater. Two is partnerships, um, you and other balance. So this is very nice. I like that because we're talking about balancing yourself and balancing whatever this other thing is in your life, whether it's a person, place, or a thing or situation. Um, it's these bad habits that you want to face. Even if it's painful past wounds, and that's, that's very much what's going on too with this shift with um, Chiron and Aries. You're taking action against the wound set that you've experienced in this life and your most recent karmic life. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Hmm. Red and oranges, again, red and oranges. So grounding stability, which especially Taurus needs. The oranges are creating some. We keep talking about creating some. Some of you are gonna have a baby or get pregnant this year, or welcome a child in, adopted, or foster, but they're for long term. Um, and then for others of you, it's you're creating something. What are you creating in this new life? Spirit wants to know. They want to help you. Wake from your sleep. Come into reality. 
anything that was unhealed, you want to heal and forgive and release, especially, you know, we have this Aquarius South node going on and, and we're talking about releasing pain and trauma with calm. You want to heal yourself and move on. So you have two cards here talking about healing, but this is the being risen from the dead for this new life. And it's a big change. You know, it's a big change. You don't want worry is not going to help. You can worry and then find out you, it would all went south and you worried twice or you could worry and there was nothing to worry about and you worried for nothing. So right now, Pay attention to what's happening around you in these upheavals and changes, these foundations that you thought were solid that really weren't. And everything in your life feels like it's crumbling around you and shifting. Look at it as saying, I'm going to rebuild an amazing new life this year. This is huge changes for you in healing. Even if it's an illness, or if you had an accident, any abuse with the person, a relationship, a job, your home, a career, this is your day of reckoning, and it's, it's all about reaping the rewards. Okay, Taurus? And in your foundation here, we have your card, the Hierophant. If you didn't know, you could watch last year and the year before's um, Taurus solar return. I go in depth about who you are in your, in your astrological sign, and also I show you the cards in the tarot that are yours. And this is one of them. Um, and there is another five number of uncertainty here. So you've got a lot of things that are coming up this year that you, you know you've got to change. And you've got to look to the past and say, how does my, my past affect where I am now? And balance right now so that you're not anxious about the future. See how the five opens up? The back is open. The front is open. You can fall back or forward. So we want you to look to the past and heal that. Get yourself grounded living in the now. Force yourself to be right now and present to make all these wishes from the well to have this new life. And so when you go forward, you know, with the opening of the five, you look forward, there's no anxiety or fear. You're stable, balanced, and grounded. So you can manifest. Now, the Hierophant does talk about old paradigms that are crap, you know, that you don't want to follow. And you're very stubborn. Oh my God, you're so stubborn about it. Or this other person is stubborn. Like you're force feeding a line of crap and bull that you don't want to hear. You respect them. You respect the old ways. You know, you listen to your grandmas and grandfathers and listen, but it's really not resonant with you and who you are. And you're feeling very uh, resistant to the change or the person you're dealing with is imposing and forcing their will on you. And you're very very obstinate with them and you have to make a stand for yourself so don't worry about it you know how to solve this uh, you know and it's another thing that's not big and quick or easy um, as a fix but it's doable and you want to be a good example again like we're talking about keeping your calm here you know instead of being bold and aggressive we want to be assertive especially if it's somebody's pushing you maybe you have a butsy mother an overbearing mother you know or mother-in-law and they just keep interfering and you know they mean well they mean well but meanwhile you can't say no to them because then they get pissed off or hurt so you know it's time for you to take control here or it's a job it's the government it's your church your your schoolmasters anyone who's an old paradigm that's been around for hundreds of years and it's in the foundation of who you are and your life your family and the world this is shaking it up and changing it whatever society's expectations or beliefs were doesn't resonate with you and you're going to face this challenge but you're going to do it in a peaceful calm way without panic well at least that's what they're advising and spirits guidance on this situation i can't these majors you have the hanged man here we're going with the earthly being the hierophant taurus the earthly especially even it's represented sometimes as a pope a papal figure a bishop a cardinal you know here this is a higher uh, order, you know, if it's a knight or a king, you know, what their ways were, but they're the, they're the material world, okay? When we have the hangman, we're talking about the spiritual, the ethereal, blending in with the earth, because the hangman is between both and recognizes both, but they're letting go. And with a lot of Taurans, you spend a lot of money. You have a problem with that. You know, because you want all these nice things. That's your mantra. You know, what can I have? What can I accumulate? What are you going to give me? Give me, give me, give me. You know, that's, that's who you are, you know, and, and who you are as yourself, as being an earthly being of material things. You want these nice things. 
the hangman realizes these earthly possessions really are not all that you need. Your spiritual fulfillment is more important to be blended in. Again, temperance is balance. Here we're talking about balance and healing. Here is balance. So you need to find that common ground where you can spend or have a good time, but you're not doing too much. You can work and make money but not work too much. You can help people and be of service to them but don't neglect yourself. You see where I'm going with this? All right, and with the hangman, he finds that in between. He surrenders it to God and lets God deal with it. He goes into his inner light, his trusting his inner light. He's just like in a deep meditative state. He's hanging upside down deliberately, like the blood's rushing to his head, so he's losing the earthly consciousness but he's tapping into his higher self and spirit. And he sees all the material things lying underneath him as just shapes and colors, objects. And he's tapping into the higher realms until he's finished and he comes out of his meditative state and he realizes he can leave those material um, attachments behind, those desires that are overwhelming and never satisfied. He can leave them behind and trust in his higher self and fulfill himself spiritually and find that balance between the two worlds. Yeah, because the hangman is just one of those cards about surrendering. And it's also about surrendering the need to be right. It's more important to be happy. I tell you that all the time. And you might be dealing with this stubborn person who has to always be right and have their way. And there might be times when you have to walk away from those people and let it go already. You know, draw boundaries from them. Or, you know, you can't drink a lot because you just can't. You know, what is that saying? Uh, one is too many and a thousand is never enough. Or you're smoking too much weed. Or, you know, you're doing all these things that are just not happening to uh, do anything good for you in your life or serve your highest purpose. So with this, this is sometimes you got to sacrifice of yourself to gain the new you. You have to give and look for a new perspective and clarity to bring this change, especially with this situation and this person or place or thing. You know, it's bringing you insight. You know, especially when, you, like I said, you look at the world upside down, you have a whole new perspective. Like when you get on your hands and knees and look at the house, you could child-proof it for a baby. This is what we're talking about, new perspective. And then What's coming? So this is going to culminate over a year energy, and we have justice. And I like this because in that position, justice is Libra in the Tarot. Libra is also ruled by Venus. Hierophant is Taurus in the Tarot, and Venus rules Taurus. It rules both signs. Now, this justice is definitely the card of karma. So what's going on this year for you, like I was talking about, you bring this karmic energy from past lives or this most recent life karmic debts that you might have taken on someone else's crap that you didn't need to. This is about justice. It's balance. And we were heading for balance where outcome is. And you see she's holding the fulcrum. She's got the sword of justice, double-edged sword, well-balanced, okay? Loving this yellow. Empowerment. You have grown so much, my Tauren dear ones, this year. So much have you gone through. And even if you don't think you have, you have. And you did just what you needed to. No one can tell you you should have, could have, would have, that it wasn't enough or it was too much. It's all part of your storyline. And you will be experiencing this balance again. And see all this fertility. You've got this solid energy around you. It's hard to see through the camera. Let me just look at this. Yeah, it's hard to tell. These are flowers or if it's wealth around. She's got that tree like of life and it's in bloom and it's like an oak it's mighty it's strong but even the mighty oak must bend it has to give in to balance okay and changing with the seasons 11 is our universal year 2018 so we know it's a great master number you will be mastering a lot this year your insight your intuition your inner divinate inner divination the way you let people treat you the way you treat others and the way you treat yourself. Very important, that. Because once we love ourselves, then we can attract like energy. So we know with justice, you needed to do what was necessary to be balanced, even if it wasn't unpleasant for some people. 
and yourself. Like I said, they're not going to recognize you're going to be a new person. This person's not going to get their way with you anymore. You know, you're going to know when to say no and when to say yes. Uh, yes, you know, you won't be wasteful anymore. You know, maybe you're going to quit smoking or if you're smoking pot, you'll quit smoking pot or, you know, go on the patch or uh, your job is going to change because, you know, you've been abused for too long. You're not going to put up with this crap. Even if you're making less money in the beginning and you're happier with what you're doing, you're going to feed your spirit this year. And it's, it's besides the worldly ambitions, you know, especially here. This is what you're focusing on, all this money and wealth and here too. This is tying in gorgeous here. I love this. But you know what? Be fair in all your dealings, okay? Again, be in balance. Um, and all of your uh, relationships, you know, your thoughts and actions. I know we all go cray-cray sometime and we have negative thoughts and feelings. Embrace them and see. Ask yourself, why, why are you here right now? Why are you showing up? What's triggering me? Looking to heal that. But you want to have fairness. And if you have a legal situation that's been going on in the past year, this is fairness in the legal litigation. For you, it is going to be a balanced decision and judgment. Um, and it'll be a new life for you. Whether it's something with your home, your business, or you had an accident. And it might not always be exactly what you wanted, but it would be what you needed. You know, So look at it in that perspective. There might be something that you had a mediation, especially with the temperance card. There may be some mediation going on. And work through the mediation so you don't have to go through an arbitration, okay? Because then it's cut and dry. At least a mediator will be a go-between both sides. The arbitrator makes the clean-cut decision. If it does go to that point, let's hope that you followed what Spirit is offering here. You did things in a fair, balanced way without aggression. And you knew when to let go so that the results were a balanced, fair, harmonically balanced outcome. And this pertains to you, your relationships with others, especially with Libra, is about partnerships. So it could be a husband, wife, your lover, your mate, um, your children, work partner, people you work with, peers. You know, geez, the people on online in the store, how are you gonna work with people in relationships? And that's what there's going to be a lot of growth for you also in this year. And the outcome, like I said, is you're going to feel very empowered by this, especially with all that yellow energy. So I do love this for you. So even though there is all this intensity of all these majors, I've never had this. I've got to always, I'm just, I'm just like wowed by this. And you know, Taurus, like I said, they're great manifestors, really great manifestors. And most Taurans I've ever met are usually very well balanced, lively people. You know, if you're out of alignment or conjunction, you could get yourself back into it. But they're usually very steady, reliable people. And the developed ones that are evolved are not pushovers. Um, but there are many of you Tarans that are so loving and open that you do want to please people and then they take advantage of you. So try to find this balance now with these people or situations so that you don't act that inappropriately like with your wife or your husband or your kids or people that you love at home. You know, and if they're the ones who are agitating the situation, do try and find what, a way to find balance. Maybe even if it's with a counselor, you know, someone to talk to, so a friend to vent with, you know, to, to let that out so that you could find a resolve. Because we do want you to have this brand new life, beautifully well-balanced, harmonic, feeling loved and nurtured. Well, thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful happy birthday, happy solar return for our Taurus people who are a sun, moon, ascendant, north node, or stellium. I do hope this helps you. I wish you again happy birthday, happy solar return. I am available for readings. If you'd like to book one, the information is in the read more below. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it for you to help my channel to grow. And I do hope that these do give you some help, guidance, and peace. As always, I wish you the best.